a lease line provides a layer 1 service. In other words, it promises to deliver bits between the devices connected to the lease line. The lease line itself does not define a data link layer protocol to be used on the lease line. Today, the two most popular data link layer protocols used for lease lines between two routers are high-level data link control, HDLC, and point-to-point -point protocol, PPP. All data link protocols perform a similar role, to control the correct delivery of data over a physical link of a particular type. Ethernet data link protocol uses a destination address field to identify the correct device and an FCS field that allows the receiving device to determine whether the data arrived correctly. HDLC has less work to do than Ethernet because of the simple point-to-point -point topology of a lease line. When one router sends an HDLC frame, the frame can go only one place, to the other end of the link. So, while HDLC has an address field, the destination is implied, and the actual address is unimportant. Next, we need to look at a list of the HDLC fields. Flag, lists a recognizable bit pattern so that the receiving nodes realize that a new frame is arriving. Address, identifies the destination device. Control, mostly used for purposes no longer in use today for links between routers. Type, identifies the type of layer 3 packet encapsulated inside the frame. FCS, identifies a field used by the error detection process. It is the only trailer field in this table. HDLC exists today as a standard of the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, the same organization that brought us the OSI model. However, ISO standard HDLC does not have a type field, and routers need to know the type of packet inside the frame. So, Cisco routers use a Cisco proprietary variation of HDLC that adds a type field. Lease lines connect to routers, and routers focus on delivering packets to a destination host. However, routers physically connect to both LANs and WANs, with those LANs and WANs requiring that data be sent inside data link frames. So, now that you know a little about HDLC, it helps to think about how routers use the HDLC protocol when sending data. First, the TCP IP network layer focuses on forwarding IP packets from the sending host to the destination host. The underlying LANs and WANs just act as a way to move the packets to the next router or end-user device. The PC's network layer logic tells the PC to send the packet to a nearby router. That router network layer logic tells it to forward the packet out the lease line to the next router. That router network layer logic tells it to forward the packet out the LAN link to its local PC. The PCs and routers must rely on the LANs and WANs in the figure to actually move the bits in the packet. Three separate data link layer steps encapsulate the packet, inside a data link frame, over three hops through the internet work, from source to destination. To send the IP packet to the router next, the PC encapsulates the IP packet in an Ethernet frame that has the destination MAC address of the router. The router that encapsulates removes, the IP packet from the Ethernet frame, encapsulates the packet into an HDLC frame using an HDLC header and trailer, and forwards the HDLC frame to the next router. That router that encapsulates, removes, the IP packet from the HDLC frame, encapsulates the packet into an Ethernet frame that has the destination MAC address of the destination PC, and forwards the Ethernet frame. 